hi everyone in uh, today's video i'll be discussing uh, some uh, very important concepts of ship stability something that you should make a note of i will be doing it based on the chapter of uh, that teaches you effect of density on draft and displacement of ships uh, the topic is of course ship stability and uh, this is ship stability one by captain subramaniam so i hope you have this book and even if you don't have this book you can follow this video with me because i have the questions written out here and i'll be discussing some of the concepts that you can apply anywhere in ship stability irrespective of uh, whosoever book you are studying the subject from if you have the book then this is from exercise number five these are unsolved problems from the book i'll be taking up two questions today and my focus will be on the concepts of freshwater allowance and dock water allowance now even if you understand these concepts please make sure you watch the whole video because i have discussed some very important and basic concepts something that i find that students often do not understand all right so let's get started with the first question my first question is that uh, there is a ship of 16000 tons displacement uh, displacement is also written as uh, the letter W or the symbol of a triangle. All right, ship's displacement, which is the weight of the ship, and the TPC of the vessel is 20 tons or 20 rather. A TPC stands for tons per centimeter of immersion. That means you need 20 tons to immerse this vessel by a centimeter. All right, you need to load 20 tons. If you discharge 20 tons, the vessel will rise by one centimeter. All right, and then uh, we have uh, the vessel is floating in seawater. So seawater, that means the relative density, the relative density of the water is 1.025. Right, and the vessel is floating at a draft of eight meters and you have to find her draft in fresh water. Right, so there is a vessel, and with ship stability questions, you try to make a drawing so that you understand conceptually what is happening here. And this vessel is going to go from fresh water or rather sea water to fresh water. All right, so currently the vessel is floating here, and this is sea water, the relative density is 1.025. All right, and 1.025 is ton per metric cube. That is the unit, mass by volume. All right, so it's floating in seawater. The draft is, and let's say the average draft, is or midship draft or mean draft is 8 meters. We don't worry about uh, forward and aft drafts here. And this vessel is going to go into seawater. That means the, or rather, sorry, fresh water. So, here it is fresh water that means the density of the vessel will be decreasing now what is the fresh water density the fresh water density is 1 ton per metric cube so you can see the density is decreasing the density is decreasing from 1.025 to 1 now as the density of the water decreases in this case it is from salt water to fresh water that means the salt content is going to decrease that means the vessels draft will increase all right it will sink further as the salt content goes up the vessel starts to float it rises but as the salt content goes down the density decreases the vessel will sink so here the draft should ideally increase as the vessel will go from salt water to fresh water the vessel will sink and the draft will increase all right this is something that i should know conceptually without even calculating it now the concept that explains the relationship between sea water and fresh water as the vessel goes from sea water to fresh water or vice versa the concept that explains the rise and sinking of the vessel is known as fresh water allowance FWA freshwater allowance. So how do I calculate this now? All right, let me show you how. So the solution is here, but you should draw the diagram and understand it conceptually as well. So we have the 
fresh water allowance the formula for which is w by 40 tpc in many books you will also see the formula written as w by 4 tpc it's the same formula except that if you use w by 40 tpc you will get the answer in centimeters and if you use w by 4 tpc you will get the answer in millimeter now as you know what is w w i have told you before is the ship's displacement and tpc is tons per centimeter immersion so i told you initially itself that ship's displacement is also denoted by the letter w right so w by 40 tpc or w by 4 tpc i have shown you the working of both the formulas you will see the answer is pretty much the same not pretty much the same it's the same so if i use w by 40 tpc i will have the ship's displacement of 16000 tons divided by 40 is is a constant 40 is a constant 4 is a constant multiplied by the tpc of the ship which is given to us as 20 or if you use this formula here then you have 16000 tons sorry you have 16000 tons of displacement divided by 4 which is a constant multiplied by 20 which is again the tpc so this will give you the answer in centimeters you have 20 centimeters and this will give you the answer in millimeter you will get 200 but you should remember it's in millimeter so whether you convert 20 centimeters into meter that will be 20 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.20 meters and you convert 200 millimeter and you convert it into meter you have to convert 200 by 1000 is equal to 0 0.2 meter now why am i saying that you have to convert both of them into meter that's because your original draft is given to you in sea water when the vessel is original in sea water the original draft is 8 meters this is given to you right now when your vessel moved from sea water to fresh water i told you that the draft should increase because the density is decreasing so if the draft is increasing the increase is measured by the fresh water allowance now because your original draft is in meters it doesn't matter whether you get your fresh water allowance in centimeters or millimeter you have to convert both of them eventually into meter and apply it to the original draft because your original draft is in meters all right so you add the 0.2 of a meter which is a fresh water allowance because your draft is increasing and your final draft in fresh water is going to be 8.2 which is going to be more than what it was in seawater. So as the vessel moved from seawater to fresh water and the density decreased, your draft increased to 8.2. This is explaining the concept of freshwater allowance, which explains the relationship between seawater and freshwater. Now let's understand the concept of dock water allowance using a second question. This is again from exercise 5, question number 2. Here it says a ship goes from relative density water of 1.008 to sea water. Sea water density I have told you already is 1.025 ton per metric cube. You have to find the change in draft again if her fresh water allowance is 180 millimeter. And you have to state whether it would be sinkage or rise. Now in this question they are not asking you for the final draft on arrival it's asking you um, what is it going to do whether it's going to sink or rise and by how much so you have to find the change in the draft and you have to state whether it's going to rise or sink now because there is no original draft given out you cannot find any final drafts right so here what is going to happen so again you draw your vessel here let's say and your vessel here is in dock water relative density 1.008 ton per metric cube and your vessel is going to go into another water or rather sea water relative density 1.025 ton per metric cube now in this case what is happening is that your density is de increasing last time the density decreased here the density is increasing now as the density increases the vessel floats out of the water it floats out all right so if this is the original draft as it will go into sea water the salt content will increase so the vessel will float out it will rise so if it is rising the draft will 
decrease so that is the relationship between density and draft as the draft as the density increases density is increasing draft will decrease all right it's a reciprocal relationship and if the density is increasing like we saw in the previous or other density is decreasing like we saw in the previous case here the density was decreasing the draft increased all right so here the density is increasing so in density is increasing from 1.008 to 1.025 so your draft will decrease vessel will float out of water so your draft will decrease draft will decrease vessel will float out of water all right so it will be a rise as the vessel floats out of water there will be a rise of the vessel now how can i calculate the rise now i told you that fresh water allowance explains the relationship between fresh water and sea water whether vessel is going from fresh water to sea water or sea water to fresh water but when you have any other densities other than fresh water and you try to explain the relationship with sea water for example in this case you have 1.008 which is not fresh water it is dock water it's called dock water density and you try to explain its relationship with sea water or salt water then you have the concept of dock water allowance dwa and what is dock water allowance dock water allowance is a change of relative density divided by 0 0.025 multiplied by fresh water allowance all right now this formula also can be written in two ways now remember your fresh water allowance is given to you in millimeters so if you have fresh water allowance in millimeters all your densities should also be in millimeter but when you write the density as 1.008 or 1.025 your density is in the unit of tons per metric cube metric cube means meter by meter by meter it's in meter so if you are going to use fresh water allowance in millimeter as given to you in the question fresh water is given to you fresh water allowance is given as 180 millimeters so if you are going to use fresh water allowance as 180 millimeter you have to make sure that your densities are also in millimeter but if you are going to keep your densities in meter that is 1.008 or 1.025 you have to convert this fresh water allowance to meter as well so remember that one meter equals thousand millimeter so here i can write the formula in two ways i can keep my densities in meter tons per metric cube and tons per metric cube here so 1.025 minus 1.008 this is the change of relative density my vessel is going from 1.008 to 1.025 but you always take the higher value first and then you don't have a negative answer then all right so although your vessel is sorry about that so although your vessel is going from 1.008 to 1.025 it doesn't matter you will take the higher value and put the lower value later but make sure if you are using decimal here then you have to convert your fresh water allowance into meter as well by dividing it by thousand and then you have 0 0.025 at the bottom and your answer that you will get will be in meter because everything here is in meter so your answer is 0.1224 meters another way of looking at it is if you want to keep your fresh water allowance in millimeter then i will change everything to millimeter so i will not use 1.025 i will use 1025 because this is now in tons per millimeter cube tons per millimeter cube so i have removed the decimal because i told you one meter is thousand millimeters so if i multiply 1.025 or 1.008 by thousand to convert it into millimeter this becomes 1025 this is how i got it all right so you can do either or so 1025 minus 1008 and now fresh water allowance is in millimeter 180 but i will also convert 0 0.025 into millimeter or rather into millimeter that's right so 0 0.025 is for the unit of meter so i have converted the density also in millimeter and i have also converted the denominator of 0 0.025 into millimeter by multiplying it by thousand so then i get my answer in millimeter so in this case i have got 122.4 millimeters as you know vessel is going to rise when you go from 1.008 to 1.025 so you know that the vessel is going to rise but 
depends on what you want to write the answer in which unit so you can write either the answer is 0 0.1224 millimeter or the answer or meter or the answer could be 122.4 millimeter or if you want to convert it into centimeters which is the answer in the book if you have the book you can convert these values into centimeter and write 12.24 centimeters it's depending on you it's pretty much the same thing all right so again one meter is equal to 100 centimeters so therefore if your answer is 0.1224 meter to convert into centimeters you have to just multiply it by 100 and therefore you get 12.24 centimeters all right so these are some important concepts that i have seen students often do not understand they just apply the formula blindly without understanding why they are doing it and what is happening there and sometimes when the answer is not matching they get confused so these are some important concepts some important basics of shape stability that you have to understand before you go into advanced shape stability and that's why i thought i'll make this video so thank you for watching guys i um, and i really appreciate the support you are giving the channel and all the positive feedback and comments i look forward to your comments feedback concerns and queries and i try my best to answer each one of them uh, or I give a thumbs up just to let you know that I have noted your question and I will try to get to it as soon as possible. Um, I, I can't answer the hundreds of comments that come in every day, but I try my best. Thank you for watching guys and all the best with your studies.